So in this video, we're going to learn how to set up a USB cable. So your USB cable should have two ends. One end looks like a network cable or sort of like a tele large telephone jack. The other end looks, just looks like a normal USB connection. So how this works is the pin pad actually gets power from the USB cable itself. So there's actually no need for a separate power supply with this pin pad. The one trick though is if you just plug it in right away it's not actually going to work because you need what's called the software driver installed on your computer so once you install that software driver it's going to be able to have a uh, power it's going to start up if if you don't have the driver it's just going to look like this it's just going to stay here on this screen it's not going to be able to have power so um if you just plug the pin pad in right away you're not going to get a screen like this it's just going to be blank um, because you need to install the software driver so make sure you have the software and jaw driver installed before you set up the pin pad. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to reset the pin pad. We're just going to unplug it, plug it back in, and then it's going to start starting up. And so what we're looking for is it's going to say a bunch of stuff on the top of the screen. So we're just going to wait for it to um, go blank. That's going to be our cue. And then um, we're going to push the blue alpha key as soon as we see initializing on the screen. So we're just going to wait for that. Okay, so the screen has gone blank. And now it's going to say initializing. So there you go, initializing CPXPL. That means push the blue alpha key. So I push the alpha key and nothing happens. It stays on this screen, which is like the ready screen. So what happened there is I just wasn't fast enough. Um, in order to get this to work, you have to be really quick. You only have like one second to push the alpha key, so you got to be fast. So I'm just going to unplug it, plug it back in. It's going to start starting up again. So what we're doing is we're just going to wait for the screen to go blank. And then when it says initialize, we're going to push the blue alpha key. And we're going to push it like right away. So what you want to do is you want to just have that finger ready, ready to go. Just have it right on there. Okay, so here we go. It's going to go blank very shortly. Okay, so the screen's gone blank. And here we go. Now it should say initializing. So I push alpha. Okay, so you should have two options on the screen. One's CPXPL, the other's M1 PSPD. So what you want to do is you want to push the blue check key, which is going to scroll it down to M1 PSPD. So once that's highlighted, push the green OK key. Next option is to pick language. So you can push alpha if you want French, or you can push check if you want English. So I'm going to push check for English. For message retries, you're going to push alpha for off for com type. Since we're setting up the USB cable, we want to push alpha for USB. For line speed, it should already have 9600 highlighted, so all you got to do is just push OK. For port setting, you want 8B no parity, so you push check twice. So one, two, and then once it's highlighted, just push OK. And then for air checking, you want off, so just push alpha. For beep, beep is in case someone leaves their card in the pin pad. The pin pad starts beeping so they don't forget their card, so you just push check. It should show you the serial number, just push OK. And then it says welcome bonjour. So at this point, the pin pad's ready to go, and you've just set it up to work with the USB cable. 